Hi guys, it's Steffi from The Novelty Corner and I think I'm breaking up with readathons, which sounds really strange to say because if you followed my channel for any length of time, you guys know that I love participating in readathons. I love being involved in the community aspect of them. I love the reading challenges and I've even been co-host of some incredible readathons over the last couple of years, including this past month. But the more that I think about it and with everything going on in the world, I've actually begun to find them incredibly overwhelming. And I think at this point, what I want to really clearly differentiate is the difference between a readathon and a, a reading challenge. Readathons, I think, are those ones that have a very short time limit on them. They're things that you might do in a week or two weeks or a month, and you have a range of prompts to fit a certain theme, and you sort of just run with it and you try and read as much as you can in that short period of time. Reading challenges to me seem to be a little bit more fluid and a little bit less restrictive in terms of they can run for a longer period of time, they might run for an entire year, and the challenges have a little bit more scope for flexibility, I think. And I actually really love reading challenges. I like that there is a series of prompts and there is a time frame, but it's a lot less restrictive in terms of being able to complete every challenge in a short period of time, because if you guys know anything about me, it's you tell me that I have to read a certain number of books in a week, and I will try and do that, regardless of whether it's good for my mental health or not. I'm a very competitive person internally, so I like competing against myself. And it has nothing to do with other people. Because I know that I can read a lot, if you tell me to read a lot in a week, I will try and do that. And I've found recently that that's probably not been the best thing for my mental health. So even though I absolutely love all of the readathon creators, and I love the beautiful creative readathons that they come up with, I think I actually have to take a step back from them for the rest of the year. Which is not to say that I won't sort of informally participate in some of them, but I don't think I will wholesale jump in feet first into many of them for the rest of the year. I have my own re-digital challenge that I'll keep doing, and I have my book haul revisited series that I'm going to keep doing, and I might s sort of dip in and out of my friends choose my TBR sort of challenges, but I'm not really planning on doing any more one week, two week, month long readathons because I have so many things that I want to read that I already own. I don't want to try and find more books to try and cram in to that. I think I just really want to spend a whole lot of time reading things that I love. I want to do some more mood reading. I want to read some more arcs. I've got a whole stack of things coming from NetGalley. So yes, I think for now, despite how much I love readathons and how much I love the community aspect of getting involved with everyone, I think I'm just going to have to take a step back. So if you don't see any readathon TBRs from me, that's why. And we'll just, we'll see how I go. I think I need to hit a reset button and I think I want to make my reading life a little bit simpler for the next little while. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you are staying healthy and safe and you are doing well. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.